Hi guys, Kim here, design team member with Swirly Do's Kit Club. What I've got for you today is our July project kit. And what we had in that kit is uh, this metal lantern. Um, I've taken the glass out of the front part of it already. It opens up. Uh, also, what we got in the kit was a 49 and Market white vine. I've already done some uh, pre-work on my vine that I'm going to be using. We also got some Art Alchemy metallic steampunk, steampunk copper paint. We've also got uh, these nice little chains in the kit. If you saw the uh, reveal video, I went through all of this, but I'm just going to go through it again. We've got these chains. We also got a nice roll of chicken wire and please be careful with the chicken wire I've cut mine down I've already cut a piece to size that I'm going to use um, we've also got some uh, uh, I'm sorry I'm losing my words we got some uh, jump rings as well a package of jump rings but I won't be using those for this video but those are some of the things that we got in the kit I'm also going to be using a few items from the medium kit I'm going to be using the crackle paste that we got in the medium kit and I'm also going to be using the Inca Gold that we got in the kit. And this called, is called Lava Red. And I've grabbed a few things from my stash. What I'm going to be making for you with mine is I decided to do like a little 3D butterfly sanctuary in mine. And I did a little uh, prep work on this. I covered this in clear gesso because what I'm going to do now is I want to add some texture to it. So I'm just going to go over this with some crackle paint. And this is white crackle paint, so it is going to dry white. And remember with your crackle paste, you want to add that. If you want thick cracks, you want to add that on uh, pretty thick. So I'm just going in with a palette knife, and I'm adding the crackle paste. I've got it pretty much crackled the way that I want it and now the thing is to just let it dry and we're gonna go ahead and try and give it some help it has started to dry in some spots which is a good thing so we're just gonna go ahead and try and give it some help here Okay, so we're dry enough, I think, to go on to the next step. And we've got some nice crackling going on. We've got some really fine crackling, and we've got some deeper crackling going on. I know it's kind of hard to see right now. But our next step is going to be coloring this. So now that we've got it all this color, we've got to decide on some colors. And I'm going to go with the acrylic paint in the steampunk copper. We're going to use some of the Inca Gold, and I think we're also going to be using some alcohol inks. I pulled out several colors. I've got Stonewashed for nice blue. We've got some Butterscotch. We've got Terracotta. And then we've got the staples Latte and Caramel. And I've also got a little bit of hazelnut. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using all the colors, but that's what we've got so far. Um, and so we're going to go in, and I'm going to start off, I think, lightly with some paint. So we're going to start with the steampunk copper. Or no, maybe not. Maybe we'll start with some alcohol inks. And I want to start light. So I'm going to go with actually I'm going to go with butterscotch because these are the butterflies we're going to be using for the inside of our butterfly sanctuary and so the butterscotch goes really well so I think I want to start there and I'm just going to start by dripping and maybe spraying a little bit so 
So I'm going to flip that to the back. And I'm just doing this randomly. And it's filling into those cracks. And it's really bringing out some of the cracks. You want to move kind of fast because your alcohol ink will dry pretty quickly on you. But working it with the water and your paper towel. If you need to, get a brush to move it around. And let it drip down. Don't be afraid of the drips. And this is even going where I didn't color. Um, it may or may not take, but that's fine. But remember, because we're going to be layering colors. So I'm going to go in a little bit more with this and spray some. And let it run a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to pick up color or take off color as needed as I go along. And now next I'm going to move to maybe a little caramel. So far I'm really enjoying the colors. Alright, let's get a little terracotta going in here. Let's give it a little more orange. And these are some of the same colors that were in the main kit. So if you picked up the uh, Swirly Dews main kit, these same colors that I'm using will go along with uh, the main kit. So now this is where we're at with all our colors. They look like some really pretty fall colors. And now what we need to do is just clean up a little bit. So all this that I've got on my mat, I'm just going to take and brush over the front. Because remember, we did do the front too. So I'm going to brush some of that over the front. It's just the runoff from... Uh, the alcohol inks. Okay, so it's all dried and it's all colored. Okay, so and our I'm next step is I still want to color this. Um, I'm not completely done with the color. So now I'm going to take the Art Alchemy paint in Steampunk Copper. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to take little paint at a time and I'm actually just going to kind of dry brush over but what I'm actually doing is coloring in the spots where there's no color and then just kind of lightly dry brushing over where there's alcohol ink. So I'm just giving the uh, alcohol ink colors some sheen, but I'm actually coloring, covering the rest of the brown to give it that copper color. And I'm also coloring any white that was left over. 
So it's just a little bit at a time. So this may take you a few minutes to do. And what it'll do is if you find that you've got any spots that you don't like that may be too bright, it'll help you tone that down a little bit. Let's just clean up the glass a little bit. And check out the front, make sure we got everything covered here. Right, we'll do the last parts of my ring later since I'll be holding that. Alright. And just checking to make sure we got the last little pieces. Now you can hit that with the heat tool to make sure everything is dry. a few little spaces that need some touching up. Alright. So now we're all done. That's the alcohol ink and the um, art alchemy paint. Now if you really want to be ambitious and you want to go for some more highlights, you take your ink of gold and this is almost like the uh, art alchemy waxes. It's just a little bit softer and just take a little bit. You don't need a lot. That's way too much. If you want, just go in and give it a rub on some of the highlights. On your high points, just give it a rub. And again, you don't need a whole lot. Blend some of that color in. And same thing over here. Don't need a whole lot of it.
a little bit like right around there. Let's grab a little bit more. Way too much more. You want to take it right around your edges. And that will be permanent as well. Like right around your door edges there. Or even the inside edges there. get a little too much just take your uh, baby wipe and wipe but there you have it now I've added some ink gold touches to it and I'm actually really happy with how the outside came out now it's time for us to work on the inside of it uh, we'll save the inside for part two but this is the outside of it. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial for uh, part one on the outside of it. Again, this is Kim for Swirly Do's Kit Club. Thank you for stopping by. Um, stay tuned for part two. Bye.